All right, welcome back. In this session, we're going to talk about InDesign versus Photoshop versus Illustrator. Now, as in any profession, uh, we need specific tools for us to be able to do our job effectively. And if we look at the Adobe Suite, uh, we have a whole array of things to work with uh, depending on what we're trying to do. Now, as the saying goes, proper tool for the proper job. So we need to understand uh, these tools that we have access to and what they're best used for. Now, if we go back and look at the history of these programs, you'll see that they have very specific uses. Uh, for example, uh, Photoshop uh, is actually used for photo editing. Illustrator is used for making illustrations. And InDesign is actually for putting everything together in a layout. Now, before InDesign came around, uh, there used to be a program that was called PageMaker. And that was the original layout program that people used uh, before uh, InDesign uh, replaced it. How we do things today is not how the software worked and how we did things, say, 10 years ago. And who knows how things are going to be working in the future. So this is an industry that changes and evolves over time. And I would love to be around for the next 20 years to see where everything has gone to in this field known as graphic communication. Because when it comes to graphic communication, everything old has become new again. What I mean by that is the traditional ways of communicating information, such as newspapers, television, and radio, was the main ways of communicating in the past. Today, we're still basically doing the same thing, which is instead of watching television through the antenna, we are now streaming it instead. And when it comes to newspapers, we're now getting our information through web pages instead. And when it comes to music and talk shows, we are now listening to those through internet streaming services rather than getting them over FM radio. So whether we're doing digital media, regardless of whether it's for print or it's video or it's audio or the combination of all three, this is just the modern way of communicating to your audience and conveying your message. Now looking at all these programs, you're probably asking yourself, how in the world can I learn all these programs and be an expert in everything? The answer is you can't. I know some people who have made their whole careers just on one program, for example, Photoshop, that was in the past. Now today, you have to know a lot of these programs, but I'm not saying that you have to be an expert in every single one. You just need to keep honing your skills, okay? This is a forever learning situation where the programs evolves as time goes on, and so will you. Now, a lot of people ask me what my title is where I work at, and I joke with them that my title is Hat Rack, and that's because I do so many different things. I'm a photographer, uh, I deal with video, I deal with audio, I deal with graphics, I deal with layout. Uh, we do so many different things, and believe it or not, we actually had to fight for the title 
that we wanted to give ourselves. And that title is a cross-media specialist because we delve not only in one area, we delve in many different areas. So I encourage all of you not only to learn InDesign and Photoshop and Illustrator, but to delve in all the different ways that you can communicate, whether it's dealing with web pages, making video, and doing photography. It is about exploring all the ways that you can artistically express yourself. And don't be afraid to get into areas that you've never done before. We learn by doing. And don't be afraid to make mistakes either. Because I make mistakes all the time and everybody else does in this field. And really, that's how we learn. We learn through our successes. And we also learn through our failures. And we must have them both to be able to learn effectively. That's it for this session, and we'll see you in the next video.